Hello guys, welcome back to my magic question channel. My name is Jenny. Have you seen the four videos of me introducing the National Geographic Kids magazine? I received this month's National Geographic Kids magazine. It is interesting inside. Do you want to know what is interesting in this month's National Geographic Kids magazine? I can introduce it to you. So let's get started. So those are real but true things about bacteria, peanut butter, Money, man and woman, tree house, crocodiles, vanilla ice cream, Saturn's rings, and fish. And those are Guinea's world records with this one finger push ups and super high slide and so many horns. Those are seven fortunate facts about luck. The first fact is about one in ten thousand quivers has four leaves. Like in this page, I can see lots of quivers. So I have a diary about quivers. It starts from this to this, and I've drawn clovers. The second fact is about peaks, or signs of prosperity and good luck in China. The third fact is about triskaidekaphobia, is the fear of the number thirteen. Well, this is kind of like bad luck about this long word. The fourth fact is about people in Spain eat 12 grapes on New Year's Eve for good luck. The fifth fact is about it's good luck to touch a chimney sweeps brush in Germany. The sixth fact is about getting pooped on by a bird brings good fortune. The seventh fact is about a bride finding a spider in her dre wedding dress is lucky. Those are all about money. It starts from pressing a coin in a dead person's mouth. The Congo's fabric called raffia. Calligraphy engraved on coins. A stack of currency. Those coins and a penny and silverware for coins and Again, those are like currency again for monopoly money. Ooh, it says like until 1816, horses, oxen, and people part the machines that made coins at the U.S. Mint. And then this is a money tip for saving money in a piggy bank. So the piggy bank is here. It is like a piggy. Those are some awesome eight things. This is night nights. This is fire power. This is a blazing boat. And this is a colorful ritual. This is balloon bong bonasa. We can see those balloons at Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Look, I can see Hello Kitty. 
This is a dance party in Brazil. This is a floating festival in Venice. This crown revelry is in New Orleans. Those are three amazing animals. This is a polka dotted zebra. Ooh, this looks like a weird zebra. I haven't seen it in my book, but I've only seen it in this magazine. This cat gets bionic feet. It doesn't look like a human bionic feet, but it is actually like animal bionic feet. Look, those two feet are new feet, and those two feet are cloned with those two paws. Well, have you seen the bionic feet? Haha, <laughs> look at this pig. It is very small and it is like a Viennese pot bellied pig. It's so small that it is like my little pinky. Well, when I see this pig, I haven't seen it before. Well, I, let me ask you, have you seen this very little pig about the size of my pinky? In this page, we are going to look at 20 cute animals. This is a baby harp seal. Those are baby deer. Those are brown bear cubs. This is a young raccoon. This is a baby orangutan. This is a baby hedgehog. This is a baby cheetah. This is a baby water bee. These are baby wild boys, which are like pigs. This is a baby sea turtle. This is a giant panda. This, the, oops, those are coyote pups. This is a adorable ermine. This is a bobcat. This is a baby owl. Those are cute barnyard animals. This is a piglet. This is a donkey. This, these are lambs. This is a duckling. This is a calf. In this page, this is about the new movie Onward. But I haven't seen the new movie Onward and I guess it's coming in March. If you have watched the Onward movie trailer, you can tell me. So I'm going to just introduce those characters. So this is a unicorn. This is Ian Nightfoot. This is Barney Nightfoot. This is Manticore. And this is called Wonko. So this, oops, so this is an origin story. So those elves are in Norse territory, modern day Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Centaurs in Greece, Manticores in Persia, modern day Iran, unicorns in India and China. In this page, we are going to talk about jaguars. This jaguar is swimming across the Paraguay River in Brazil. This jaguar stalks prey in Brazil's Curibur River. And this jaguar is on the riverbank. And those are three jaguars. This is a jaguar and it is a predator. The leopard and the jaguar look like the same but they are different 
because of the sports are different. In this page, we are going to look at 30 cool things about China. So the first fact is about the new movie Moonan. The second is about 12 animals. So in 2020 is the year of the rat. The rat is number one. And this is China's binom elevator. Oops. The number four. Oops. The fourth fact is about green bean flavored ice pops. This is about in ancient China, soldiers sometimes wore armor made from paper in the fifth fact. The sixth fact is about in 2010, a 2,400-year-old two pot of soup was unearthed in Xi'an, China. Whips. Mm. Number seven is about the long ear gerbils. <laughs> this looks like a weird animal and it looks just like a rat. The number eight, oops, the eighth fact is about, is about dragon boats. The ninth fact is about Chinese monobirds. This is the Chinese monobird. I haven't seen this bird before, but wow, it is carnival, like all of the colors of a rainbow. The tenth fact is about China's railway lines. Whoops! This is about Great Wall of China. This is about peaks. This is about temperatures in China. This is the Asiatic. Oops. This is about the Asiatic golden cat in South China. Ooh, I've written about this cat in this page. It is also called the Asian golden cat. Hmm, I'm not a good hand of drawing, but if I draw this cat. It looks like it looked more like three D. Whoops. Hmm. This is about chopsticks. This is about Chinese white dolphins. This is about China and United States. This is about monkeys. This is about the language and this is about the forbidden city this is about the stone force this is about Munang again this is about the grand buddha and this is chinese ice cream trucks number 25 is about giant pandas this is, oops, number 26 is about, about red crows. Number 27 is about dragons. Number 28 is about the terracotta army. Number 29 is about the word ketchup may come from a Chinese word for pickled fish shop. Oops! Pickled fish sauce. Number 30 is about the iron statue of Munang again. Underneath is about watch a trailer of the movie Munang. This is a novel called Explorer Academy, The Star Dunes. I've never seen this Explorer Academy, The Star Dunes novel 
but but I've only seen it in this magazine. It has sometimes it has this article cracking codes and lots of other activities. If you have seen this novel, you can tell me about this novel. This is about fun stuff about the Great Barrier Reef down under water. It is a bit like what's different in the starter, mover and fire test. So I'm going to find five differences. The first difference is those clownfishes are in depth, but this in the second picture, the clownfish is moving left, and this clownfish, oops, and this clownfish is moving a little bit to the right. This sea snake is moving a bit to here. But this picture, this sea snake is moving a little bit to here. In this picture, there is a fish blowing bubbles, but in this picture, there isn't a fish blowing bubbles. In this picture, the man is wearing flippers, but in this picture, the man isn't wearing a flipper on his left toe. In this picture, there is a manta ray, but in this picture, there isn't a manta ray. In this picture, the girl's hair is long, but in this picture, the girl's hair is short. This is a funny fill in, and I haven't filled in the blanks in this funny fill in. If you want to let me read a funny fill in and fill in the blanks for me. You can tell me. This is hot in the world. Fill in the blanks. This is about over the rainbow. And those things are like a pen set, socks, a dolly pop, a parrot. Ooh, this parrot looks like this parrot. This guy is called a rainbow lower kit. This is a cake. Those are crayons. This is sprinkles. Oops, those are sprinkles. This is an umbrella and this is sneaky. This is about kids versus plastic. I have a fan called Jamie. Jamie has this environmental bag to put a sandwich in for a picnic. So look at this. It says choose this. This is an environmental bag. Not that. This is a plastic bag. Why? You might use plastic bags for snacks, but for many animals, the plastic bag is the snack. The green of a plastic goodie bag floating in the water can look like a fish. As the plastic Fears the animal's stomach. It blocks food from traveling through its intestines, causing it to starve. In fact, one curvier's beaked whale is recent. Oops, was recently discovered with more than eighty-eight pounds of plastic, including snack bags, grocery bags, and. Nano ropes in its stomach, so instead store your treats in reusable containers, then toss them in your backpack for on-the-go grab. At the recent international coastal cleanup, volunteers collected nine hundred and thirty-eight, nine hundred and twenty-nine plastic bags, not including grocery bags. So this is a make a difference, and this is pick your favorite. Oops, pick your perfect snack sack. 
So it tells us to find a reusable food container by choosing the phrase that fits you the best. I don't want my sandwich to get squished. Stash it in a sturdy container. I want a light and flexible wrap. Use cloth or beeswax wrap. I need a container for messy munchies. Grab a glass jar. I want a pouch that's flexible yet sturdy. Stuff it in a silicone sack. Jamie has this silicone sack too. The last bag is about about plastic bags that are reusable. This is about Quitter Chat, but we don't have much time, so we need to we need to talk about the back. I like this book because it always has lots of colorful animals. I like those animals. This is about Quitter Chat. I like this book because the reason is it always has lots of colorful animals like this frog, this red-eyed tree frog is very colorful, this bird is colorful too, and those are beautiful. So if I read this Critter Jet dialogues, it will be no time, so, so if I read this now, it will be like, I think it will be like wasting time. So I need to go to the back and and read about this back talk. It's look at this. It says, "What do you think this comedian is thinking?" Like, well, I think that this butterfly flies onto the comedian's nose and it is itchy. So I think the comedian. Is irritated by this butterfly. This is the May 2019 issue, so I think those snails are having a race, and I think it is this issue. This is this month's National Geographic Kids magazine, but we need to wait for a month because it will release another National Geographic kit. So if you have got your own National Geographic kit magazine at your own home, you can watch my videos online. If you have any questions, you can ask me online and I'll discuss with you. Bye for now!